What's up, guys? It's your boy Polish Bullet, and today finally we got Mac Racing spring for the exhaust. As you can see, Torcan Power Lab, whatever. Uh, I was only waiting for three weeks, but we finally got it. Yeah, I mean, you guys know, like bunch of people got problems with, you know, the exhaust springs, they rattle and stuff like that. So, you know, I already tested one. It was the Mopar one. It was a little bit cheaper. I think it was 20 something dollars. It worked for maybe like three, three months, three, around three months. It, it did a decent job, but one day it just snapped and that's it. So today we're testing out the Torcan. Hopefully this one's gonna work because this one's a little bit more expensive, more like $60 range. So uh, yeah, let me show you how this whole thing sounds right now. It's embarrassing by the way. As you guys can hear, that's how it sounds in the traffic. Embarrassing. To All right, guys. So as you can hear, it's pretty terrible. It's embarrassing. I'm not gonna lie. You think you got the hot shit? You know what I mean? Driving a freaking Elantra, and then you, then you pull up in the traffic, and people like wanna take a photo or video, and then <laughs> no, I'm not about that life. You know what I mean? So we're gonna swap the springs. Hopefully, this one gonna work like it's intended to and and last at least more than three months you know what i mean because this, this is a little bit more expensive i think there's only one more that we can try is it like rpm or something hopefully we don't have to but yeah let's let's swap the springs and and, and see what's up all right guys so there it is there it is got the little box over here nice packaging i'm not gonna lie i guess that's why i waited for so long but let's see what's inside okay i hope this is the one guys okay i hope this is the one Torcon, warning, the recommended torque spec for the 8mm nut is 21 to 31 pounds. Okay. I remember that when I'm gonna hand tie it. Okay guys, this is it. <laughs> this is it guys, let's check it out. Okay guys, let's take the old one now. I'm gonna show you the process you know most of us know what to do but for, for those who don't or are scared to do it super easy job three eight millimeter screws bolts whatever and that's it so let's get to it all right guys as you can see it's super easy over here it's literally three one two three screws and you gotta hold it with the allen key from the back or some pliers you know because you, do, you don't torque them like too much so they shouldn't spin okay let's take the first one okay we got the first one don't use your don't lose your washers those little washers over here okay number two is out As you, can, as you guys can see, you don't even have to remove the <laughs> third screw, honestly. I mean, you don't have to disconnect the harness, nothing. But obviously, we're going to remove it, so it's a little bit easier to install. But this one just fell out, basically. All right, guys. So this is the comparison of a stock OEM to Torcon spring. You know, obviously, this one have way less this circles, whatever you call them. But this definitely feels 
more squishy if you know what I mean so this over time definitely gonna get you know worn out from all the heat cycles and everything this one this one is definitely harder material 100% can tell right away I mean I can squeeze it but it's definitely way more strength to do that so yeah let's let's put this one in and and see how it performs Right guys, one more thing, just want to show you, put the spring this way, okay, put the spring like this, and this whole mechanism over here, I don't know if you guys can really tell, but this spring got to kind of like catch those two grooves inside, you gotta like push it, make sure it catches, Okay, it's hard to do with one hand. But, oh, it catches, and you kind of have to hold it and twist it in the same time. And the best, I, the best thing is to put the top screw, which is all the way on the back. I know I can, I can't show you right now, but it's on the other side, the one on the top. Put that one first, so the whole thing don't don't lose its grip and then put the bottom one and screw everything together you can see we got all three and what I would suggest just go every single one of them little by little like we did the high pressure fuel pump don't tighten one side all the way and then play with the other ones just do little by little just so it's you know nice and, and just you know don't put too much pressure on the plastic over here because the new spring is a little bit harder than the old one so just to be careful nice and torque down you know guys don't don't go crazy this this whole adapter thing is plastic so like they said 20 30 pounds you don't need more literally you can hand tie it slightly more and, and you'll be gucci so let's check the first cold start say my cold start and see if we did a good job. All right, guys, first start. Oh yeah. Finally, no mamalas, guys. No rattling or nothing like that. I will take it for the drive just to make sure, but let's change some mode let's go to the end mode nothing nothing did a good job <laughs> you know what i mean so i'll take it to the for the test drive just to make sure uh everything's gucci but it seems like perfect so the work is done no squeaking no nothing for now so obviously I'm gonna update you guys if anything happens, but it seems okay. By the way, this little thing, even if it's rattling, if it's, if it's, even if it's squeaking, whatever, keep this. Keep this just in case. Same situation like I had with the Mopar. It just broke. The whole flap was like boom, 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 flapping around and making all the crazy noises. So it was better to put the old OEM spring than just drive it with a broken one, obviously. So if it's still good, rattles a little bit or something, just put it on the side somewhere on the shelf, whatever. Just keep it, just in case, you know what I mean? So, but that, that's it, that's it guys. So as always, you know the drill. Like if you liked it, subscribe, and I see you in the next one.